deadbeat laws of taxation and in this particular recording we're going to talk about how do you calculate mathematically this harburger triangle so this was the deadbeat laws of taxation and we have talked about it how we got this in the last recording now we are going to talk about how we are going to get this mathematically so let me just start with this particular position that you know this that the difference between the demanded price and the supply price is equal to the tax. So because of the tax, the, the demanded price is going to increase. And the amount of the price which the suppliers are going to get, that is going to fall. So this is also true. That DPD minus DPS is equal to DT. Now, at equilibrium, Demand is equal to supply. So demand is DPD and supply is SPS, right? Uh, so we can write this what? We can write this as this thing. And one more thing that at equilibrium, if demand is equal to supply, so if you are writing QD is equal to QS, then this also means that DQD is equal to DQS. DQD is equal to DQS. So how do you get DQD? I mean, you'll be just differentiating this demanded price. So how do you get this? This is del D by del P into DPD del S by del P into DPS, right? So I can write del D by del P as DP, DPD, del S by del P as SP, DPS, right? And in place of DPS, what is it that you can write? DPD minus DT, right? From here now, you can get DPD minus DTS, DPS. Fair enough. So I can write this as what? Your SP minus DP, DPD is equal to SPDT, is equal to SPDT, right? This is what we can write. Okay. And then you have we can write DPD by DT as SP upon SP minus DP, SP minus DP, right? Can I do one thing? I can multiply both numerator denominator by uh, P by Q. It doesn't change anything. to P by Q, right? What is SP? SP is del QS by del P because this is equilibrium, pe hai na, so you can write del QS by del P into P by Q. What is SP? Del QS by del P into P by Q. What is DP? Del QD by del P into P by Q. So what is this guy in the numerator? That is nothing but ES. ES minus ED. ES upon ES minus ED. Similarly, you guys can write for ED also. Right? You can also write for ED. So DPS by DT, similarly, it could be written as ED upon ES minus ED. Jaha pe hum logo ne ye kara tha na, aapka DPS ki jaga pe DPD minus DT likha tha. 
उधर आप डी पी डी की जगह पे डी एस प्लस डी टी लिख दीजिए यू विल गेट द सेम एक्सप्रेशन देन सो दिस इज वॉट यू हैव राइट दिस इज वॉट यू हैव नाउ वट यू कैन डू इज दैट इफ यू लुक एट योर हार्बर्गर्स ट्राइंगल दैट हार्बर्गर्स ट्राइंगल इज वॉट आई मीन सो वॉट यू हाउ डू यू गेट द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इज हाफ इंटू बेस इंटू हाइट सो वॉट इज द बेस बेस इज डी क्यू वॉट इज द हाइट हाइट इज the amount of the tax so you remember na this is what your triangle this is what the demand function this is what the supply function this is what the supply after tax and this is what the dead weight loss so i'm not repeating this i'm just i just want to tell you that this triangle is what the dead weight loss is no ha huh? so you can call this uh this thing as this thing let's say as the height of the triangle which is given by what the amount of change in quantity right that is dq and this thing is the height of the triangle and this is given by dt right this we know that uh, sp is equal to so we know that q is equal to sp right so what is dq equals to your s dash p dp no so can i write like this 1 by 2 in place of dq i can write s dash p dp into dt no now can i do one thing can i multiply and divide by p by q it doesn't change anything it doesn't change anything hmm? okay can i write like this your uh, uh this thing p by q s dash p let me just put this in one bracket into q by p dpdt i can write like this so if you remember what is this this is elasticity of supply yeah okay now in the next step let's start writing what do we have so we have dp by dt as ed minus sorry ed upon es minus ed so what is dp equals to ed upon es minus ed into dt i can write like this so you have what es in place of dp you can write what ed upon es minus ed into dt huh this is what you are writing in place of dp into q by p dt so what do you have half es into d ed upon es minus ed into q by p into dt square this is what the dead weight the uh, loss is uh, or dead weight burden is dead weight loss or dead weight burden this guy es half into es ed upon es minus ed into q by p dp uh, q by p dt square so if the absolute size of the elasticities is going to increase that is if elasticities are going to become very negative this means very negative means very high so elasticity of demand becoming very negative and elasticity of supply becoming very positive then in that case it becomes very inelastic in that case the dead weight loss is going to be very higher one thing second thing is that it is going to increase with the square of the tax rate so in case if the uh, taxes are not going to increase much then the dead weight loss is also not going to increase much but if there is a huge increase in the taxes then the dead weight loss is also going to increase right 
so keep these two points right and uh, i hope it was of some use to you thank you beta